What's going on YouTube Snipes here with TKO Gaming bringing you guys a video on 5 tips on how to go flawless in Destiny 2. Now as you guys know TKO Gaming has helped over 4,000 people in Trials of Osiris from Destiny 1 week 1 of Trials. And in Destiny 2 so far we've carried around 30 people flawless and it's only the first weekend. So if you guys haven't gotten there and you need help, read the description below and get in touch with us. Our supporters get direct access guaranteed flawless. It's that easy. Now before we get into the video, as you guys know we are doing a Destiny 2 silver giveaway. If you're like me and has a very hard time getting exotic emotes from Bright Engrams, this is for you. Any platform the winner gets to choose. All you have to do is like this video and comment down below. Make sure you're a subscriber because the subscriber will get directly messaged. That's how you will win. So make sure you're a subscriber and turn on that notifications. Hit that bell next to it. Now let's get into the top five tips and tricks to go flawless in Destiny 2. And it's pretty much going to be the most important in my eyes all the way down. You guys can kind of label them in any way, shape or form. And hopefully you or your team learn something new to then go forth and go flawless. Now, as you guys know, every single week I will be posting a how to go flawless on the respective map. I did this map right first day on Friday and it's on the channel if you need to check it out since there is still one more day in Trials of the Nine. That's what it's called now. So timing is the number one thing for me. Timing, what that means is no matter what platform you're on, Xbox or PS4, I have always found that the first day of trials, right when it launches, is the hardest time to go flawless. You really want to wait until either non-peak hours or high peak hours. You don't want to be in between. So let me explain. For example, non-peak hours means most people that are helping others, most people that are carrying or most top tier teams will not be playing during non-peak hours because they'll be sleeping or whatnot, right? So you want to pretty much play at a really, really absurd time or you want to play in the most busiest time of the day. So the population in Destiny 2 is so large. Now in Destiny 2 trials, your wins do not matter. You will not match up specifically with someone that in regards to your wins. So now you can get matched up with seven teams that have no thumbs. You just have to kind of get lucky. Now, granted, it's not the easiest thing to do, but I've always found even in Destiny 1 that timing is very, very important. So I would definitely play in the most peak of hours or the absurd non-peak hours. Don't play in between because then you'll have a higher chance to match up against a team that's really, really good. Your weapon loadout would be the next important thing. Now, your weapon loadout, as you guys know, for this map, Eternity, it was Mita Multi-Tool Mayhem. That's all it was. And it won't be the case for next week because it depends. If it's a close quarter map, obviously you want to reassess your weapon loadout. People might have submachine guns, the meet a mini tool, mob justice. People might have sidearms. Beautiful, beautiful sidearm is, what is it? The last hope or something? Oh my God, that thing has max ability. Unreal. I might make a video on that if you guys want me to. Let me know in the comments below. It's so freaking good. You know, auto rifles, Uriel's Justice is one of the best auto rifles. The Trials auto rifle is not as good, but it's still pretty good. Um, as you guys know, you know, for longer lane maps like this one, definitely the Mita Multi-Tool is the one to go forth with. Then the next thing is the strategy of the map itself and the objective and the map control. Now for this, a lot of the times people don't understand it's an objective game type. It's not, don't treat it like Trials of Osiris. Don't just go and simply kill the other team. If you guys are down a person, or even if you're on offense, go and play the objective, utilize that objective, and then kind of bait it. So arm the bomb and everyone just set around. And as soon as you guys hear somebody or disarming the bomb, just kill them together as a team, team shot. It's so freaking important, which actually brings me to my next point, which is teammates. You need to have teammates who know how to group and move together. This is not Destiny 1 Trials. This is Destiny 2. This is all about team shots. Oh my goodness. The worst of the worst teams individually, if they're good at team shotting together, will destroy a really good team that you know is filled with people that like to be like lone wolves or anything. And shout out to the people that support in the stream, either with donations, dropping nukes or bits or subbing. Like that's freaking awesome. That's how you guys fill that cup up and it means a lot. So come check us out on our Twitch stream if you haven't. 
you know have different supers the best super for this map was golden gun right or arc warlock was a great super as well don't have on big maps don't have close quarter supers like the arc strider or the titan smash you know you know what i'm saying like you know mix it up you guys are smart utilize your team's skill set and kind of go from there and the last thing i want to talk about guys is positivity i want to make this freaking number one stay positive if you lose one it's okay go restart stay positive have fun this gaming that's what it is that's why when people come play with us or if we do it for you on your account or anything and you're watching us on stream we always try to stay positive because that's what you're supposed to do enjoy gaming the way it's meant to be don't let it enjoy you Whew. drop in knowledge i love you guys so much hope you guys enjoyed this video we'll see you in the next one subscribe if you haven't and thank you for supporting tko gaming peace out